the heart fits into the center of the chest, pointing to the left. The heart is a pump. It pumps your blood all around your body. If the heart beats, say, 60 times a minute, that's 3,600 times an hour and millions of times every year. The heart has thick muscular walls to keep pumping like that. This jet of red liquid is pumped into the air by hand power, a bit like the heart pumping blood. Sleeping, standing, walking upstairs, running. Standing. That beat gives you the heart speed you have to match. Squeeze the bulb at the same rate that your heart pumps blood around your body. You try. The heart is a muscle and muscles move your hand, so it should be easy enough. Oh, my hand's hurting. Fortunately, your hand and your heart have very different kinds of muscle cells. Heart cells twitch. Several million of them twitching together make a heartbeat, and these cells don't get tired. Embedded in the chest, between the lungs and pointing slightly to the left, the heart beats. It beats to pump blood to the lungs to pick up oxygen and then on around the body. And this is how it works. Blood that is low in oxygen reaches the heart via the vena cava and enters the right atrium. This is the wall of the atrium. The right atrium pumps the blood through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. The ventricle pumps the blood through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary artery. This carries the blood to the lungs. In the lungs, the blood absorbs oxygen as it passes through capillaries, the very small blood vessels lining the air sacs. The well-oxygenated blood that comes back through the pulmonary vein goes into the left atrium. And then from the left atrium through the mitral valve into the left ventricle. The left ventricle has the thickest and most muscular walls. It pushes blood all around the body. It's the most powerful part of the pump. On the left of the screen, you can see the mitral valve, and on the right, the aortic valve. The blood is pumped through the aorta and around the body. The cycle is completed when the blood arrives back in the right atrium of the heart through the vena cava.